These pictures show a lot of hardworking, passionate people. These are volunteers with the Poor House, an outreach program that connects homeless people with shelter. It's just very fulfilling. In all these pictures, you also see this white trailer, which is now gone. All I can say is it's just sad, and I just wish we could find it. Laurel Buckner with the Poor House tells us the trailer was packed with things like dressers, beds, and kitchen items. Everything donated. It was all being given to people who were finally getting off the streets and moving into a home. This is one of the most vulnerable parts of our community that we're trying to help. And to be preyed on like that is just, and in a church parking lot, it's, it's just sad. The trailer was parked here in this church parking lot off 62nd and Keystone. It's been parked here for a couple years. Never a problem until this past weekend. I don't know what kind of position these people were in that they felt that they needed to do this, but I promise you the trailer was meant for people that are way worse off than you are. The only thing left behind was the broken lock. The same day volunteers realized the trailer was stolen was the same day they were supposed to help people move. They had to scramble to find other donated furnishings. When they finally do come forward for the help, you know, we, we want to be there to have the items to get them in. Community members and a local business stepped up to help a bit. Buckner is grateful, but she also wants these thieves to know what they did was wrong. To them, this white trailer may have seemed like quick cash, but to others, what was inside was a new start on a better life. We just want it back. Please just bring it back. Just put it back where you found it, and we'll be happy, and we'll just move on. On the city's north side, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Now, we can tell you a police report has been filed, and again, if you know anything that can help detectives solve this, please call IMPD. Also, volunteers are asking business and homeowners around 62nd and Keystone to check your surveillance cameras. Maybe you caught something.